Hey guys, this is a quick video taken from my live stream as a viewer asked about mastery and I went quite in depth about it, how it wins games, how it benefits you, what it does, uh, how it get better. Um, so yeah, enjoy. This is a quick extract from the live stream. If you want to see the live stream, it's on YouTube. You can get it by subscribing to this channel. It'll pop up when I go live. Thank you very much, guys. Enjoy. So... Basically, mastery is a little menu down here, so it's activated by V. So essentially, you have one weapon mastery, and obviously when you hit level 7 weapon mastery, you unlock your skill. But what it also does is, so per level, I get 0.7% attack speed increase. Uh, obviously, this is for the spear, it's different for the dagger. 4.2% uh, extra damage to normal attacks with spears equipped. Seriously? You're a bot. Go away. Let me just quickly murder. And then I'll show you, actually. This is probably a good example. So you can see this XP here building up every time I hit her. I get spear XP. I get HP, mastery, etc. And then when you kill someone, you get a ton of XP. So I'm just getting three spear mastery levels, which means that now I get 2.1% extra uh, speed increase. 12.6% um, extra damage to normal attacks with spear is equipped and 3% skill damage increase. So obviously that can go all the way up to 20. Um, which would, you know, give you like 40 odd percent uh, attack speed increase. Um, probably like 60 odd percent uh, spear. I can show you on the outside menu, but essentially that's what that does. And then in the green, the, the text in the green shows you... Um, what each thing gives you in terms of xp so when you craft um a weapon it can give you anywhere between 100 and 1000 xp depending obviously on the weapon you craft so if you craft an epic weapon it gives you loads that's why like when you craft your weapon and your gear you gain level so your level Here's is a combination of basically all your masteries and that's kind of how they work out your level so for example when you're crafting crafting is another one that people don't realize you should actually constantly craft throughout the game um you know when you pick up random items and stuff like that so every time you craft something it increases the effects of items by 0.7 percent so every time i craft something it means this you know if i increase it by one percent you know it gains 0.15 attack power um no yeah 0 0.15 attack power at that point but obviously you know that some of the spears are like um you know look at this one 88 attack power so obviously that that'd increase quite a bit and then you've got the health mastery which is the one people don't um no because it it can increase so it's it, based on the weapon basically so if i do dagger zukai i get skill damage increase and um extra damage increase restricted. but yeah that's why like you know when you play like fiora that has like an auto attack build um if you kill two or three people early you get shit tons of mastery uh, on your weapon it makes you very very strong but then you've got things like health mastery so when you craft food you get a ton of uh, of xp for your health mastery and it increases your um percent health so if we go and say if we go find some food probably not the best zone to kind of showcase this but uh i can make some ice water maybe we can find some ramen uh so that will make yeah there we go so citrus cake right so right now my health bonus is at 2.4 percent level two i'll make some citrus cake go back on it so it's still at 2.4 percent obviously i've gained some xp and then I gain the level as well. Yeah, yeah. So whenever you um, do any sort of damage, so you can see how you can... So when you go like that, if you go spear, it tells you how to earn the mastery. So deal 100 damage to a player while having the spear equipped, basically. So deal 100 damage to a wild animal is 5 XP. Kill a player is 200 XP. So obviously it, it scales. And then when you craft something, it gives you a thousand XP. So as long as you've got the spear equipped, if you do any of those things, you gain spear mastery. Once you gain level seven, obviously you get your um, you get your weapon ability. And then when you get level 14, it enhances. The but the, the biggest thing people don't realize is, look, take two points uh, for your defense mastery. 
take 2.4% less damage from normal attacks, 2% less damage from skills. Like if you ever hit someone and they've just not died, it's because generally the defense master or the HP master is really high. So when you fight a chicken, look, you'll see here, spear plus 5 XP, hunt 35 XP, health 15 XP, defense 80 XP. Yeah, 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 exactly. And everything you do gives you some form of mastery. So if I search this box, gives me 350 search mastery. So if I go search, look, vision increase. So your search mastery can increase your vision in this game. So every time you search something, get search XP. Every time you craft something, you get craft XP, which benefits all your items. Every time you kill something, you get hunt XP, damage XP, health XP, defense XP. So when you're like, you know, say, for example, you know, we run into someone and uh, we're both like level 20. You, if you've got, they're both level 20, but someone's got, you know, 20 weapon mastery, someone's got 10. The one with 20 is going to deal significantly more damage. Or, you know, you've got 20 defense mastery. And the other guy has like five because all he's done is sat in a bush all game. You know, even when you move, look, if you move now, you get move XP. When you change zones, you get move XP. So you see it there, move 180, move 55. Your move XP actually increases your movement speed. When you craft leg armor, it increases your movement speed. So people who move around a lot are faster. Just naturally faster. Like, look, when I smack this bear, it's probably going to kill me this bear, to be fair. But when I hit this bear, look, health, defense, spear, hunt, blah, 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 blah. When you eat food, Gives you health XP. When you kill stuff, gives you XP. So that's why some people can like absolutely murder Wikiline and some people absolutely get devastated. Because your hunt XP deals 16% extra damage to wild animals. So that's why some people can one hit chickens. Or you've built the same exact build and you can't kill a wolf in two hits for some reason. Even though you got the exact same items, it's because you haven't hunted much that game. But yeah, basically everything builds towards your weapon mastery is essentially what you want. Like, as you craft a weapon, it builds as well. So Zukai is really quite cool because every time you craft food, you get a HP, percent HP increase, yeah? Every time you eat food, you get a percent HP increase. And then Zukai's passive um, not only make the food better, um, but he also gets a stack... Uh, of Juggernaut Chef increases max HP by 8 for each stack. So every time I craft food, gives me 8 HP, and then my health uh, my health mastery boosts it up another 4.8%. So there was a game I played where I had 70-odd stacks of Juggernaut Chef, uh, healing for like 12, because obviously it's passive level 3 at the time, uh, plus, you know, 15 health mastery. So I had like 30% plus an extra 700 has been restricted. plus all my gear as well so it gets really really gross like how quickly things can um things can kind of stack up but yeah basically if you get like early kills you can really really like stack I hope you did enjoy that. It was an excerpt from my live stream. Uh, a viewer just asked about mastery and I thought, you know what? It's uh, a couple of minutes of explaining a very basic but very, very helpful tip. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, hit subscribe. And once again, um, if you do, I go live here um, every other day or so. Um, but I'm also releasing videos almost every day. So uh, yeah, check it out. Some more videos to come. Thank you very much, guys.